Uh, I think what makes a good rivalry is when uh, both teams are excited to step out on the same ice surface and battle each other. And uh, you know, I think when both teams want that reputation of being the better team. I just think two teams that are you know competitive, uh, teams that you know want to succeed, want to finish uh, you know top in the standings. And uh, I think our league and our division especially are a great example of that. They're only about uh, five minutes away from each other. I think that's just a rivalry there in its own. Um, you know, I think uh, anytime you, you think of the, uh, the Colonel, Colonel by Classic game, uh, you know, it does, it does get you a little excited. You see it on your calendar, it's one that we marked down. My first year in the OHL when I uh, played in North Bay, our rivalry against Sudbury was pretty intense. Uh, so close together that uh, each team's fans could travel to uh, the other team's rink and uh, made it pretty exciting every time we stepped on the same ice. My biggest rivalry was probably against uh, the Windsor Spitfires when I played for uh, London. Um, again, we're close in distance. Uh, you know, it kind of comes down to you don't really like each other. You don't like their uh, their demeanor. You don't like the guys on their team. And, um, you know, obviously you have respect for each other, but at the same time, you know, it's one of those games you, again, mark down on your calendar. Yeah, it was my first game in this uh, in this league. and. Uh, Obviously, there's a little nervous, a little nervous to start off my uh, CIS career, and uh, obviously playing against Ottawa was something new. Uh, you know, playing for the Six Sevens last year, so it was uh, it was a good game. Uh, we we came out hot. We uh, I think we had a 5-2 lead at one point, and we let them back in the game and made it interesting, made it close. But thankfully, we came out uh, with the win, and uh, it's build, building up this uh, battle between the two schools. It's a, it's a big game, you know, it's the city of Ottawa, it's kind of, uh, it's, a, it's a battle within a, within a boundary, so it's a, it's a little bit more special on the calendar for sure, especially being a division game as well, but uh, you know, you always get a little more uh, antsed up to play those ones. Big crowds can, can kind of sway, uh, you know, sway a team, sway the momentum of a team, and um, you know, you, uh, you, look at, you look at the bigger crowds and um, usually that's when you're, you know, you're getting a little more excitement, excitement in your game, and uh, you're, you can feed off the fans. Throughout my career, uh, playing playing in front of big crowds gives you that little energy boost. Uh, you know, when you score a goal and the building's that much louder, it makes you uh, want to do it again that much more. And you know, whether it's a hit, block shot, anything, you know, when when you have the crowd behind you, it's a lot, it's a lot nicer. And as opposing team, when the home crowd's a lot louder and stuff like that, it sort of kills your vibe. So I think it plays a big role for sure. You know, anytime we get support, it kind of helps us out. And, uh, you know, we know that we have students behind us and stuff, and that's that's kind of a good feeling, especially in, in, in your my third year. It's it's nice to see now, and um, you know, just to take a step back and realize that you have your uh, your school your schoolmates following you and and uh, wanting to watch you play. Playing uh, a lot of games there at the uh, well, not the Civic Center anymore, but uh, a bunch of the guys on the team. Um, you know, who are former 67s will feel a lot more comfortable, used to the, the crowd, the ice, the, uh, I don't know, just the overall structure of the building. It's going to be a bit awkward at the start, I think, because uh, now I'm just starting to get used to playing here, but it's exciting for sure to return to the, the old stomping grounds, and uh, it's definitely going to be comfortable for me going back there for sure. From basketball to hockey to football, it's, it's all kind of one of its own. Um, you know, obviously now with, with uh, the Colonel by Classic being its second year, I think it's starting to get bigger. Um, and I know for a fact it, it will get, it will grow just as big. You know, all, all three are great, uh, great for the universities and, and great for students. It's just another uh, piece of the puzzle uh, to hold all three. It's like uh, it's just a little entitlement, which is nice. So uh, I think it'd be cool to hold all three at the same time, and uh, hopefully the other uh, two teams can uh, keep up.